I feel like everyone has a spark of curiosity, you know, for like, for science, mathematics, like how do things work, you know, why is the sky blue, I don't know, like, you know, childish questions like that, but not, not a lot of people pursue the curiosity, where, where I was always like, you know, I really want to know it, like it's like burning inside of me, like, I, so I want to learn about it, and so, I, yeah, yeah, just learnt about it, I guess. Uh, kia ora, I'm David, uh, my father's from Taimaro, my mother's from England, <laughs> Um, I'm an entertainer slash software developer at Zero. I was in primary school and you know it was the common thing doing like productions and plays and a friend of mine there, her mother was an agent at Karen K Management and she saw me doing like a little thing there for this Māori production and she saw that I could sing and do a bit of acting. She was like, oh well, you know if you're interested, uh, come along and um, you can get interviewed by like my boss and blah 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 and we can sign you up to the agency. And so I did it and I was like, oh you know, something might come of it, something may not. And I ended up scoring a small role in a short film and that's kind of where it all began and I was like, man, this is actually really, really interesting, eh? this whole acting business. And then I ended up landing a big role in River Queen, which was like a huge deal for me at the time, I was like 12 years old and then from then on, my passion for kind of acting and the whole entertainment uh, business kind of started there. It was like a really key moment for me for like learning about the industry and about what it takes and the interest of the art form. And in terms of like dancing, I mean 2008 World Hip Hop Champs were the first crew in New Zealand to ever win that and that was like a really massive moment. We had like um, crews from all around the world. I think there was like 75 countries there and they all had like fancy studios and like they paid instructors to teach them. We were all self-taught. We practiced at a primary school in the windows of the reflection at night time when the lights turned on and they had free power that we could plug our music or our little jukebox into, you know. That was another big time for me. Um, America's Best Dance Crew, we did a special guest performance there. Uh, recently I just came off two tours with Stan Walker, helped choreograph in that and also backup dancing for that. A lot of people thought that you couldn't be in the entertainment industry and also pursue a career in uh, software development because I mean they both require like a lot of mental hard work and physical hard work but I was just kind of really passionate about both of them you know so at the moment I'm a software developer software engineer at Xero for anyone who's studying a Bachelor of Science or doing computer science or information systems is, or any science degree try and do the extra mile if you can if you can't it's fine but if you can try and do the extra mile and I wish someone had told me this obviously students already know how to have fun you know party and whatnot but yeah, yeah have fun and always find the balance between hard work and fun times you know I first started studying at um, AUT and I did that for one year and then I got a call up to go over to Australia to do Aussies Got Talent uh, and me being an opportunist, I was just like, yep, take it, boom, I'm out. You know, I was there for a year and a half or something like that, doing my thing over there, and then I finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna do my degree, I'm just gonna get it over and done with, and then I'll see what happens from there. So I came back and then I did three years at Auckland University, uh, studying a Bachelor of Science, majoring in Computer Science and Information Systems. Did you, were you still dancing at that point? Uh, yeah, I was still dancing, so I was flying, uh, I was flying back and forth from here to Sydney, here to Melbourne. And, uh, meanwhile, I was still studying at the same time. But in what I do, there's a common stereotype of like nerds. And I'm not gonna lie, man, there are a lot of nerds at my company, man. So sorry, guys, but there are a lot of nerds, you know. I guess a really big moment for me, like I said before, was uh, winning the Worlds 2008. Uh, being the first New Zealand crew, I felt like we had put in so much hard work to get to get to that spot. Honestly, like we would we would spend. Now I would be at school, studying at school. As soon as I finished school, I would be straight into dancing, and we wouldn't finish dance practice till like 3 a.m. at times. And then it was like get as much sleep as I can, wake up next morning, go back to school. And it was like I couldn't not go to school. So it was like a recurrence of just like draining and mental, physical work, you know. And I think there was like a really defining moment in my life that shaped me, was like, if you really want it, you just work your ass off to get it. 